I've seen those sleepless lights Sipped on the champagne light New York City High dollar tipsy And I built an L.A. sun Cruising up Highway 1 Picture perfect That red steam was worth it I've been to some parties Seen my name on Marley's Red line in a black Ferrari In the country But I've never been On top of this world You got about 45 meters of water, mate. Working, mate. Up. Try and keep the rod off that Don't rail. Don't put the rod on the boat. And you got to keep an eye out for the fish when it gets up here. I can't see any colour yet, mate. You're doing well. Pretty hard this fishing, isn't it? Yeah. It's not easy. Can't see any colour yet. That's it. Up and wind. down. That's it. You're doing good. Viv's got a baby one. First drop guys, we haven't even had a chance for a little intro here and just set the lines up and we're into them. Oh, Jack's got a ripper here. Oh, it's a bloody big trout. Look at that, Jax. That's a ripper, mate. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> nice! First ever reef fishing, he grabs a trout. First time reef fishing. We'll have a little bit of an intro in a minute, guys, once we sort this mess out. I've got a bigger one. Viv's just got himself oh, yeah. up. <laughs> I've got the bigger one. Unders undersized red. Now I'm going to hand this over to Viv while he gets this trout off, and Tina's all knotted up around him as well. Wait, did you do. It's pretty easy to get Tina off Jack's out of there, I think. And which way is it? We sort this mess out. Just Jack, just hold your rod up a bit, mate. That's it, don't we? Is it that way? Or under? Just can't see. Hey? Is that it? Now you just stay there, Tina. Bloody big trout. First ever reef fish. Ow, ow. Grab your sinker, Jacks. That's it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Put the rod in the roll holder. Hey. 
Well, you getting any bites over there, Sanj? I felt one before, but uh, what a lovely fish! Where? Hang on. <laughs> Have you had any bites, mate? Hey, you snag on the bottom. You might be, eh? There's a lot of there's a lot of fern underneath us. Right, eh, mate? Look into the camera. Pretty proud moment. Good job. Hey, well, did you have a measure him? See how big he is. Hang on to him though, don't lose him. Hold right tight under the gill. Put him, put him on the zero, his nose on the zero. Flatten it out. You can go back a bit more yet. About there. 67. 67 Almost coral six trout. 60 oh, centimetre. 67 Big centimetre coral trout. Here. Just come back into the boat a little bit, Jack. Right. Hey, she's dropping, mate. That's not. Hey, that's magic. Look at look at Sands, mate. Get your photo taken. Hang on, one more. Look here, buddy. Oh, look at the whales. We got whales and everything going around us. Hey, that's a that's a great fish, mate. Well, guys, I might be able to finally get around to doing this intro. Um, we just anchored up on this one spot, and we've got a couple of uh, first-time reef fishermen here today, and Jacks. Obviously, the youngest fella, he's one of the grandsons, he's out for uh, his first ever reef trip and um, bugging me dead, <laughs> he pulls up, what was it, a 67 centimetre, 67, 68 centimetre coral trout. So he was pretty much over the moon. Out off your poon, we're about 70, 75k out, so we just dropped the lines on our first mark and we've got westerly wind at the moment, but it's very gentle, but um, it doesn't seem to be playing havoc with the fish. It could build up in strength as the day goes on a little bit, so... We'll, we'll stick it out for as long as we can and, and hopefully together we can string a fee. Got me daughter Tina, son-in-law Viv, of course Jack's a grandson and a colleague from work, Sanj, so it's his first reef trip too. So hopefully we can uh, get him to jag a couple of fish today. Anyway, we'll tune back in very shortly once I straighten out some fish and so forth, guys. Viv just landed himself a nice parrot fish. Only a good size one too. We're getting a lot of small bites here at the moment. I think there's quite a few husser underneath this, but as you can see, there is the odd good fish in amongst it all. Yeah, that's lovely. Beautiful. The little fellas take all your bait jacks, are they? Yeah. That's it, just find that right, right amount on the bottom there. This is one bit. That drag's still slipping, isn't it? Just nip that star off a bit. Sometimes you might have it. You might have one. No? Yeah? Oh, it'd be worth measuring. Ready. Love them red emperor. We're putting on the measuring stick, that fella. No doubt about it. Just went legal. It's about uh, about 56, this guy. So uh, that's number two for the bin. Sands might have his first fish, he believes. Yeah, I can see it. A bit of colour coming up there. Looks like a hussa. Nice size hussa here, though. They're rippers. That's it, mate. Try and grab him. Grab the leader there. Where the knot is on the hook. 
That's it. Beautiful. You just might have to. Um, How do I hold on? Well, yeah, get him in the, the gill there. In Righto, Sandra's first reef fish is a hussa. Good size hussa. Cool. So he's pretty happy with that. Yeah, Took him a little while. He's having a bit of a struggle there, um, getting used to the depth of water and, and trying to hook the fish, but he's, uh, I think he's slowly starting to pick it up. Get out of it, he's fighting the f here. He's trying to bite the boat. Give us that club here, mate. I'm going to clear him. Hit him in the nose real hard and make a call. Here you go. What's that? Hey! Hey, boy! It happened to turn him, Dad. I give him a good clout too. He's coming up again. Fighting at the boat. He's coming up. Hey. How aggressive is that? At the boat. He's just going to keep coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. That's pretty unreal, isn't it? I've never seen him do that. Oh. Oh. I'll give him a good clout with the hammer. Jesus Christ, that's pretty full on, isn't it? I've never seen him try and, like, I've seen the hammerhead bump the outboard years ago. Too. Never seen that behaviour before, like that's incredible. It's pretty daunting actually, eh? Like Just won't give up. Go away, you big bugger. Well, guys, did you see that? Like, I've seen sharks do some different things in my time, but actually come up and bite at the boat. Bite at the outboard. Yeah, it's pretty daunting. He's still hanging around, but he's um, he's keeping a bit of distance. So I ended up clouting him on the end of the nose there. It didn't deter him straight away, but hopefully he might have got the message. But it certainly got us thinking whether we need to uh, change spots. We'll hang around for a bit longer, and if he comes back and starts bloody having a bite at the outboard, I think we'll up anchor and, and move on.
All right, we got away from that bloody big shark, so we haven't gone that far, so the likelihood of him following us is probably pretty good, so we'll give it a crack here. Another nice little bit of Fermi run over, so we'll see what's, uh, what's hungry here. That's what I think we might have a fish on. Tina's got herself another one. Oh, I hooked him on the side. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh another. Red another small red throat. So we're getting a few red throat here, but I think they're uh, a bit on the small side. I don't think this guy will make it either. We'll have a measure. We measured this guy, he's, a, he's about uh, 36, 35, so he's too small, we'll let him go. At least we're getting a couple of different species here. And throw him back, see one. Here we got a good 10 or 12 knots, but the smaller fish seem to be biting, but we're not getting any um, any bites from any bigger fish. So we've had probably oh six or seven shifts in the last couple of hours trying to find some hungry fish. Doesn't seem to be working, but uh, we've got a few hours yet before we got to head for home, so we'll keep trying. Oh, oh nice red throat. Look at the size of that red throat. That's a ripper. That's a beauty. That's a good fish. Oh, Sands might be onto his. Oh, he's still got him, mate, you think? Might have dropped him. Hey, that was a good fish. You might have just beat him. Just, just be careful that Adam and Spiel wouldn't have your thumb on it. Put him on the stick, Bev, see what we got, mate. He's a decent sized uh, red throat, that guy. Is he? Uh, just over 45. Oh, right, that's a good fish. Sold him up, mate. Yeah, that's bloody magic. Well done. Oh, yeah, he'd be bloody legal, too. Another one. I think he's going to make the grade. They're a bit picky, but we're getting the odd one. Sands might be into it, the fish of his trip. He's missed a couple of nice ones the last hour or so, but he might have, might have worked out what to do and got this one under control. That's it, mate. Keep working like that. That's it. Keep the weight on him. What do we got? Oh, he's, oh mate. What have you got there? I couldn't ID. He's got a big spike too. Yeah, I couldn't ID him off the top of my head. I'd have to look him up. Anyway, we'll get him off and find out what it is. Oh, yeah, it's something different. Hey, Sanch. Hey. hey, hooked him in the tail too, but he's got a big spike on top of his head there. Yeah, right. 
They're on to eat. And the last time you in the last time you filleted a fish? Filled it more than you ever done. That's not the point. That's the problem. So you taught us and then you step back. Well that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Pass it on. Pass it on. It's got to be 30 centimetres, so I have a measure. I reckon it'd be legal, I got it. Yeah, you get the hook out of his mouth. Just below it. Oh, you're going to go that way. 33. Told you. Hold him up. There you go, a little parrot. We'll take a photo with the phone now. Up and down. Come on, up, wind down. That's it. Make the rod do the work. Still got yours, Tina? Yeah. Come on. I think so. Here we go. Rock the rod. Up and down. This one, I think he's coming up with me. You got a nice one. That is n water. Another nice parrot. That is a good parrot. Tina loves parrots. That is a good fish. It's a good parrot. No, Jackson's just got made. 46. Yeah. Alright, hold him up. That's beautiful. Nice parrotfish. Tina, Tina loves building and, and uh, skinning parrot. <laughs> Don't you, Tina? Yeah, no. No. <laughs> nice fish, though. Is it like a freight train? Huh? Alright guys, that's us for now. Uh, we just had our last drop and uh, nothing's really happening for us and yeah, the wind's starting to puff up a little bit. we got a probably a two hour trip home. It's not going to be a uh, comfortable ride either. But uh, anyway, like I always say, any day in the water is a good day and Jack's, uh, the grandson, he had a good good start to the day with his first, first, um, first ever reef fish being a coral trout. Uh, Sanj has never been out before, so he got a, picked up a couple of hussa. Uh, uh, got a red throat, yeah, a couple of undersized red throats. So he had a little bit of a taste um, of what what can happen out here and what you can catch. Unfortunately, it wasn't an absolute blinder of a day, but um, yeah. Anyway, I'll give you a bit of a look at what we got here. Little selection there on the floor. Jackson's nice uh, coral trout. It's a nice couple of nice parrot. One emperor, just over legal. A few red throat, a couple of real nice red throat, and a sprinkle of hassa. So, yeah, we'll fill it up a little feed for us. So, that's not too bad. All right, so I'll sign off now. We'll uh, pack these down on some ice and um, yeah, head for home. And um, anyway, if you like what you're watching, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.